So, hello, welcome. Um, this is another knitting podcast. I'm not sure that the internet needs any more, but here we are. Um, I thought it would be nice for me to have a place to share what I'm making, um, for others to see what I'm making, and to connect, hopefully, with like-minded people, um, and hopefully make some knitting friends, because I do not really know anyone in real life who knits. I mean, actually, my partner's mum does knit, um, but apart from that, yeah. So, my name is Emily, um, I live in Cheshire, um, Cheshire, I don't know why I said that, um, I'm about 20 minutes or so away from Chester, um, I live with my partner and our dog, Jasper, and our cat, Fred, um, maybe you'll see them at some point, but I'm trying to just keep them out for now. <laughs> um, yeah, and this is a podcast all about my knitting and knitting in general. And maybe some other stuff should it pop up. Uh, yeah, so because this is the first episode, um, I'm just checking. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> because this is the first episode, um, I just wanted to talk through what I've made so far. Um, I've been knitting for... I started knitting... In lockdown before that um, I was crocheting quite a bit um, I've made quite a few bits of crochet um, you can see in the background maybe that um, colorful blanket which I really love um, but it's always been like I've always wanted to make garments that was the main thing and when it came to trying to crochet garments they just were so heavy and so they didn't have the look that knitted fabric has. And I was like, right, I just want, I want to knit jumpers. I'm obsessed, I've always been obsessed with jumpers. I just live in them. And I was like, I just love to knit myself jumpers. Um, so yeah, I taught myself how to knit um, a few years ago and I've just been, I sort of left it for a bit. And then I'd say in the last year probably, or even less than that, I've just really become obsessed with it, obsessed with learning about fibers, different yarns, different patterns obviously I found Ravelry and that was like whoa like welcome to the world of patterns and knitters and all of that so yeah um I work I don't this I'm not doing this very organized but I work as um a book cover designer um mainly that is my main job uh, I work from home um, I'm self-employed so um when I'm not doing that um or either out with the dog, or um, I'm knitting. That's basically my life. <laughs> so I wanted an outlet for it, and yeah, this just seemed like a nice thing to do. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I knit was, as in the first thing, the first real thing, tangible thing that I knit was a pair of socks. Um, here they are. So these were knit with Drops Alpaca, is it Alpaca Mix? Um, which I now know is not the best choice for socks. <laughs> it's not the most hard wearing. I love the colour and I, they're so soft. They're, they're really soft. Um, it's a go it's actually a really, really nice a really nice yarn and I'd love to make a jumper in this I just I'm a very neutral I'm surprisingly much more neutral than I thought um but yeah so these were the first thing I really knit and I was so proud of them I absolutely loved them and I was like wow and I just love the look of small knits like I love even though they take so long like I just love all the like the just the tiny stitches I'm just a bit weird like that really um so yeah I wear these now um just like around the house and as bed socks although I'm, I'm pretty sure at some point like the they're gonna make a hole so I probably would just save them as bed socks just, yeah um so like I said they were on drops alpaca mix and the pattern um I have no notes I'm so oh no I'm quite unorganized the pattern is um my favorite vanilla socks I'm gonna to have to put in, um, I'll put in down the side who the designer is and all of that. So I apologize, I feel very unorganized, but I'm, I do not wanna move the camera again. <laughs> so yeah, that's these.
the next thing I knit was a jumper. Um, it's the, the classic by Espastrico. And here it is. It's very big. <laughs> very big and oversized. I was not aiming, can you see? I was not aiming for it to be this big, but I did not know about and I'm still learning about, to be honest, gauge and what size to do. So I think I just thought, well, I'll go for a big size and yeah. But as you can see, it's fairly large. I've not got very big. I've got quite small, like lower arms. And so like this just drowns them. <laughs> but yeah, it was really nice to learn. I learned a lot with this. Um, it's just a simple raglan, um, twisted rib collar and um, cuffs. And is this hem? Yeah, hem. <laughs> hem detail and a it's a split hem. Uh, so yeah, I learnt a lot. The yarn I used was We Are Knitters, um, The Mixed. I think it's just called The Mixed and it's a mix of, I think it's 50-50 blend of wool and cotton. And do you know what? It's really, really nice. I would definitely knit something in this again. Um, I've not had the most wear out of this, so I can't attest to um, how durable the yarn is, but you would have thought with the cotton content that it it, it should be pretty durable. Um, so yeah, not many, not huge signs of wear, um, maybe like just a little bit of fluff, but nothing. It feels, it feels lovely. It's, it's quite light, um, even though it's so big and it was quite, it's quite a small um, gauge actually. So yeah. It, I like it. I wear it. I do wear it sometimes. I'm, I need to get better at wearing my knits because I feel like, oh, they're so precious. I spent so many hours knitting them and I'll only, I'll just, and every time I go to put something on, I'm like, oh, I'll just chuck this jumper on. Which isn't, that defeats the whole point of making things, doesn't it? So I feel like I need to get better at wearing. Speaking of which, I'll get on, actually, I'll go into that later. Um, I need to get better at wearing them. So yeah, that is the classic by Espastrico. I would recommend it for beginners, definitely. It's free, it's a simple raglan, top down, knit in the round. Yeah, really good beginner beginner pattern. I would like to knit it again, just not so huge. Moving on. The next thing I knit was, yeah. So I think after that, I had a really long break from knitting. I just wasn't really that into it and I think I was a bit unwell and so I had a break. Anyway, the next thing I knit was this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shawl. I absolutely love it and I'm really, really pleased with it. It's so simple and it is the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West. I think, yeah, it's a free pattern. And I bought the yarn, the yarn I used is um, Rowan Kid Classic, I think it's called. It's, I can't remember the exact blend, but I think it's mainly mohair and la I think it's lamb's wool and it's beautiful it's so so lovely I'd really like to knit a jumper in this it's really really nice um and it's a very very simple pattern and it's a really good one if you want to knit a shawl and you don't know how they're constructed it, it basically you start where do you start I can't remember <laughs> I can't even remember how I did it I think do you start here and then work increases. I can't remember, I need to knit another shawl because it was a little while ago that I made this, but it's so lovely. It's not the hugest thing or the thickest thing, but it's so warm. I'll show you, I like to just wrap myself in it. I can't see myself very well in the viewfinder, so I don't really know what how I'm looking, but hey. Yeah, I like to just, oh, so, it's so soft and lovely. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it and I think this will be a long a staple basically for me now. Uh, I love the size of it, it's not like huge but it's just enough to keep my neck warm and you know a bit of my chin. <laughs> so yes that is the Boneyard Shawl by Stephen West knit in Rowan Kid Classic. Oh and also I did modify it, the pattern, because when I started doing it I was like this is just going to be like a huge triangle and that's not really what I am envisioning here. I want to be able to wrap it around my neck and not have like 
loads of drape down here I don't want like a massive and I think I'm learning that I don't I'm not I'm avoiding any going to avoid any shawl patterns that are just a big triangle because I don't think that shape's going to work for me work for me really I need to have a drink I just prefer the ones that are um, asymmetrical longer than they are um, deep wider than they are deep so yeah I ended up doing so you in, you the pattern just tells you to increase on one side but I was increasing on both the pearl side and the knit side so it's a very easy modification to make and then once you block it it was rolling loads but once I blocked it there's no rolling so yes that's that one we'll move on uh the next thing I knit that I think was this. This is the Ranunculus by Midori Hirose or Knit Cafe Midori. Um, I fell in love with this pattern because I obviously watched, um, or I'm sure you've heard of um, Kat, Kat Weaver from Heather and Hops. I absolutely love her podcast. Uh, that She was really the person that got me into knitting properly. Um, I think without watching her podcast and just seeing her makes, I probably wouldn't have been so um, uh, encouraged and enthusiastic about knitting my own thing. So thank you. Um, yes, I would highly recommend her channel. If you haven't seen it, it's, um, I think she just now calls it, it's now just called Cat Weaver, not Heather and Hops. I think she changed it. So Cat Weaver. Um, love her podcast, so relaxing. Anyway, this is the Renun Ranunculus. I used for this Woolly Knits British, 100% British wool <laughs> four ply, and I held it double to make a DK or near enough to a DK. Um, I absolutely love Woolly Knits. I love their four ply. I've not tried any of their other yarns, but I'm really, really in love with the, the wool cones. And I didn't hold anything else with it, it's just the Woolly Knit held double. and. While it's rustic, it has got a really nice softness to it as well. Um, this colour is, I think, I think it's just called sage green. I keep sniffing, I'm really sorry. And I keep touching my hair. <sighs> I need to get better at this. I do apologise if anything I do annoys you. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful pattern, it's a top down yoke. So. I, it took me a while to realise the difference between a raglan and a, and a, and a yoke uh, jumper. But a yoke is basically, you're not doing standard increases, the angular increases that form this part of the arm. With a yoke, you're knitting round and out to like a big circle. And then that you then split the sleeves and it drops down. So yeah, it's very addictive and it was very quick. I'm not sure how long I knit it, but it was very quick for my second like garment. Um, but yeah, I really like it and I'm, I'm just, I keep looking at it and thinking about it and I'm like, I don't know if I love the colour. Like, I don't know if it's a particularly me colour. I'm still learning about what really suits me, to be honest, but I think it is. I think it does suit me, but I, I'm not mad on it as much as I was when I made it colour-wise. Also... <laughs> The pattern I think recommends six, is it six millimetre needles? I didn't, I don't have six millimetre needles. I do now, but I didn't at the time. So I was like, oh, I'll just use uh, the biggest ones I've got, which I think was five mil. So a whole mil, whole millimetre less, smaller. Um, and I can't remember what size I knit, I'm really sorry. I think I, I will write it down or I'll link to my Ravelry and the details will be on there. But when I was listening, I was like, this is gonna be really small. <laughs> And it is, it still is small. I had to block it uh, vigorously. Like it had a lot of blocking. It's quite, it's stretched out a lot and the, the yoke really comes alive when you block it. Before you block it, it's all like scrunched, the lace work's all scrunched up. Um, but yeah, I really, I really do like it. And maybe I'll over dye it. Actually, if anyone has any recommendations for dye, I would love to use natural dyes. Um, I do much prefer natural things, but I don't think that's going to work with this. I think I need a proper dye, like, you know, um, more of a strong dye for this. What would you recommend? What do you use? My dog's just come in. Do you want to say hello? 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 Do you want to say
Come say hello. Come on then. Oh, he's probably going to start barking now. This is Jasper. He's a annoying and lovely show cocker spaniel. <laughs> what is it? Say hello. Okay. Moving on, let's move on. I hope he doesn't pick everything up here. I'm going to move them out of the way. Uh, oh. Next thing on it was these mittens. These are, I can't remember the name, I'm really sorry. But they're colour work mittens. I wanted to do something colour work. Um, so I did these. I knit these with um, West Yorkshire Spinners Elements and Rowan uh, Alpaca DK. I keep sniffing, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, they're lovely. The only thing is they're too big, I think, for me. It's a gorgeous pattern, it's really simple. Um, I just wanted to get better at colour work. I don't think I did too bad. Uh, one of them turned out bigger than the other, which is just a case of my gauge changed. Um, but yeah, I'll put them on so you can see. Oh, don't pick those up, thank you. Hang on, I'm gonna have to move some stuff. There we go, I'll put them on. It's a free pattern from memory. Um, yeah, they're really quite long and they tend to like ride down on my hands when I'm wearing them, but they are very warm. Ta -da! I love the colours. I really, really, really love um, this colour combination. I love this colour. I'd love to knit like a jumper or something in this colour. I'm obsessed with like, bra like this, just this colour basically, brick. I think it's the colour brick. It's lovely. But yeah, they're just a little bit, you can see, there's quite a lot of excess fabric. So they tend to like slide down my hands. And also this ribbing at the top is, it is just, there's too much, too much excess fabric, basically. One, this one's not as bad, but it's still, yeah. So I would like to knit myself maybe another pair of these or maybe just like a simple um, one color pair of mittens. Um, Sorry if I keep like looking over there. I need to look here. Um, I, I am sorry, this is my first time doing this, so yeah. So these are the, I think they're called the hedgerow mitts and I will uh, put the designer down at the bottom. Hedgerow mitts, really, really nice. Would recommend as a beginner, even for a beginner to wanting to learn some color work. So yeah, that's those. Uh, the next thing, I made was the Sunday socks by Petite Knit. Um, I really wanted some thick, chunky, warm wool socks for just around the house because it was so, the time, around the time I knit these, it was so cold. Um, I was just dreaming of big, chunky socks. So I made these. I used one strand of um, Lime Brand Fisherman's Wool and held it with a strand of um, Debbie Bliss Angel Mohair. It turned out really, really nice. I'm really pleased. I love the fisherman's wool. I know a lot of people really like that. Um, they're really, really warm. They're holding up so far. I did try and felt them a little bit, actually, when I gave them a wash the other day. I tried to felt them um, just to bring them in a bit because they are a little bit too big around the foot. I think that's helped. I've not put them on since, actually, but... Mm, yeah, I just needed to maybe try and felt them a little bit more. But yeah, I really, really love them. You can wear them, they look funny like this because it's ribbing, but once they're on, they're lovely. Um, you can wear them like this, or you can like fold it over so you've got double thickness around your ankle, which is nice. Yeah, really like these. So yes, that's the Sunday Socks by Petite Knit. Um, the next thing... Um, I think the next thing I finished is, is what I'm wearing. This is Braids of Grass by Al Albiona McLaughlin. I absolutely am in love with it. I think it's gorgeous. I think the way it, just the fit, I think it's stunning. It's really beautiful. It's got really lovely detail around the hem and the sleeves. Sorry, I'm really not showing this too well. Um, I didn't block it very well, so I've got a crease up here. And that's happened on a few of my jumpers, so do you have a recommendation for how to 
negate this. Maybe I need to, I think maybe I should invest in a steam, uh, a steamer and then I could probably steam it out. But yeah, I knit this in, drops soft tweed. Um, and when I was knitting with it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this yarn. I think it's, um, from memory, like 75% wool and 25% nylon. And I was like, oh, it's, I don't like the feel of it. But when I washed and blocked it, it softened up beautifully and it's no irritation at all. It's really, really soft now, actually. It's just lovely. I'm so pleased with it. This is my first time really wearing it. I just get better at wearing my knits. So yeah, the yoke detail goes all the way around the back. This is really <laughs> Not very good at showing but yeah I love the neck but when I when I um finished it it was rolling heavily I looked like a Victorian lady because <laughs> it was just like rolled but now now I blocked it and I gave it quite a I was quite harsh with it not harsh but I did pull it out a lot to stop that rolling and it's beautiful and then the neck it was very floppy um this top bit here was very, very floppy and loose. So what I did, all I did was um, I crocheted slip stitches round, all the way around the top um, of the collar to kind of, A, to pull it in slightly, and B, to just give it, to just give it um, some stability to hold itself up. And it does, it's worked really well, which was really cool. So yeah, I absolutely love this. Uh, again, it's the Braids of Grass by Albiona McLaughlin knitted in drops soft tweed. Moving along. Um, I'm getting towards the end of what I've made. Um, I think this was the next thing I made. So these are uh, a pair of vanilla socks. I think the pattern for this is um, paint box. Is it the staple socks? Free pattern. Really good actually. Really nice vanilla sock pattern. I really like this heel. It's um really like it seems very firm and um what am i talking about yeah <laughs> um i knit this in rico superba 12 which is i think just a standard 75 25 um these were for these are for my partner um and they fit him really well i think he's worn them that's why they're a bit look a bit sorry for themselves he really likes my knitted socks i thought about like knitting him a jumper or a scarf before and I just don't think he's gonna wear wear them he's a bit fussy um but socks he loves them so yeah I really like the colors actually um yeah lovely pair of socks yeah next thing is I completely forgot to show you something which is um my Vertices Unite shawl by Stephen West which I recently finished um I'm really 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 pleased with this I think it's so so pretty um it's really long. Oh, I can't even get it in the frame. Um, it's knit with, sorry my hair's like cut off, I've done something funny with the camera, but um, yeah, that's better. It's knit with um, Woolly Knits 100% British 4 ply wool, again, um, and it's so lovely. The construction is brilliant. Um, yeah, it's such a good pattern, I would highly recommend it so easy it's got the just right the right amount at least for me of like things going on yet relaxing mindless and it's gorgeous i'm so pleased with it and i'm so pleased that i decided to do it all in 100 percent wool because i think it's just like one of those things one of these pieces that i'll just have forever um yeah i'll put it on so you can see it on Ooh. It's just gorgeous. It's um, because it's done all in one strand of the fingering weight. It's quite thin, which I don't. I'm not mad about. Um, it's just so drapey, bouncy, squishy. It's all in garter stitch. So it's nice and squishy. But yeah, it's long enough for me to wrap around and to do a little tie if I want to, just to keep it snug. But yeah, absolutely love it. I love the colours I used as well. I'd like to knit a jumper all in this colour, which I think is called cinnamon, maybe, or rust. No, I think it's cinnamon. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot to show you, so I'm going to just insert this, hopefully, in amongst all the other stuff. Um, I 
I've just recently literally just finished these. These are, I love them. These are the Monkey Socks by Cookie A. Is it a free pattern? Yes, I think it is a free pattern. I absolute, how gorgeous are these? Like, I think they're just so pretty. Like, the lace. I like, really love the yarn as well. I can't attest to how well it holds up yet because I've not worn them. They've just been blocked. That's why they're so neat and tidy. Um, the yarn I used was Valley Yarns Huntingdon. Um, it's, a, I think, so, yeah, 75% percent wool 25 percent nylon um for now i am going to be using sock yarns with nylon in because i don't want to spend all this time knitting socks and wearing them a few times when they just get holes in because socks do take ages um so yeah we'll see i'm hoping to like try a different yarn for like every sock that i'm doing and then i can hopefully review them at some point a lovely pattern it does take a while but it's worth it they fit beautifully um yeah, so that's the Monkey Socks by Cookie A. Now, that, I think that is, that is everything I've knit so far. Hope it didn't, hasn't been taking too long, but now I'm going to share my works in progress. So, the first thing I'll show, I just need to go and get it. It's in this little basket. Oh, um, I've got lots of scrap yarns. A lot of them are from when I was crocheting. So a lot of them are cotton and some acrylic, and just a whole mix really, and just stuff from other projects. So I thought I'm gonna use them up and crochet a simple granny square cushion cover. So I've got the cushion, got this far, but can you see that yellow one? <laughs> I've run out of this color which is really pretty. I really like that colour and I really like how these colours actually like go together. I think it's kind of like ugly but cute. <laughs> anyway, so I run out of that colour. So I was like, oh, I'll just use this yellow. And I really don't. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. It's a scrappy project. I just want to get the yarns used up. So I think I'm just going to carry on. And if I have to change colours again, I'll just change colours again. But yeah, so it's going to be a nice size. I did follow a pattern actually, um, I can't remember what it's called, is it like, the, uh, I can't remember, it's a join as you go, so rather than having to stitch all the squares up, you literally just, as you go, you pick up one square, and yeah, so it's going to be about that size, and I'm hoping it's going to go on this chair, but we'll see, so yeah, there's that one, I've not worked on this in a while, just because I've had more exciting things, <laughs> but I do want to get it done, because I have lots of scraps. That's just like one basket, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So that's one work in progress. The next one is um, this one. Actually, no, let's talk about this one. This one, I cast this on. It feels like ages ago. I think it was like, uh, I can't remember. It's on my Ravelry, but um, this is camisole number something. Oh, one of my favourite things, knitwear. Um, I got a Knitting for Olive voucher from my partner's mum for Christmas. Um, and I was like, oh, I want to buy myself some yarn. So I bought the yarn rec uh, recommended, I think. It's um, Knitting for Olive. Um, what's it called? Knitting for Olive. Pure Silk. In the colour Copper which very me colour, love this colour. Um, and I, yeah, this is how far I've got. It's been on my needles for what feels like ages. Yeah, it's very hard to see at this point. It's just so slow, it's so slow. It's looking really pretty. Um, and it'll be lovely for me to wear on holiday and things like that, because it's 100% silk and it'll be nice and airy and light. Like, it's a really pretty fabric and I do like the pattern. It's just, a bit boring and a bit slow but I think once I've got a few things off of my needles then this will be something I really focus on and just hammer out the body and then all I have to do is the straps so yeah, it'd be nice to get this finished I'm not in a rush just it'll be finished when it's finished so yeah there's that one uh, 
sorry, being slow. Oh, oh, <laughs> there. The next one is um, this. Oh. This is the Lento by Liner Magazine. I can't remember the designer, but I'll put it in. So yeah, this is the Lento and it's looking really big. I haven't knit a raglan since um, that white one I showed you at the beginning. So I really wanted to knit one, just a simple um, cozy jumper, to be honest. Um, I knit size three. The yarn I'm using is, um, it's this cone. Um, I actually found a uh, the, this on eBay. Um, it's a seller is called Gorgeous Knits and she has, <clears throat> I think she buys in yarn from cones mostly from companies that are selling the yarn um it's maybe like old stock or things like that and i like i do like getting value for it's a really good value i can't remember how much i paid but i've got a lot of it and i've got another a whole nother cone as well so maybe i'll make a shawl out of that one but yeah this is a fingering weight yarn i think it's yeah it's 100 percent pure new new wool um it's lovely i really <clears throat> excuse me I really like it it's it's quite soft and compared to like um this is the woolly knits it's not got that hay it's not got that fuzz that the woolly knits has I don't know if you can see that um it's not got that same fuzz but it's so it's I'd say it's softer to touch you've not got those stray fibers coming off but yeah it's really really nice I like it so I'm using that uh, which is a four ply and I'm holding it with drops brushed up pack of silk which is giving it this really nice fluffy squishy I love the colour I think the colour is beautiful I hope it suits me because I don't really have anything in this colour excuse me um I think it's being blown out slightly it's looking more blue on camera but it is more green it's more of a, like a forest dark green yeah, it's so soft. I really love um, the combination I've used. The drops up of silk is really nice. Um, I th after sort of, I think it's prone to felt, uh, not felting. Well, yeah, felting together and pilling. Um, but you know, it's an experiment. It's my first time using it. If I really, if I wear it a few times and I and it goes horrible, then I'll know. But I'll just use it as a jumper around the house. I just think it's going to be the coziest thing ever. I've knit a really I've knit size three, um, but I use five point five mil needles rather than the six that it calls for. Excuse me, I'm not used to talking this much in one go. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just working on. I put the body stitches on hold because I don't know. I feel weird like finishing the body before I've done the sleeves. So I've just started on one sleeve and I'm doing the decreases down the arm. I've got. I ended up picking up quite a lot of stitches under the arm, so I've got quite a lot of decreasing to go. But yeah, loving it. It's really, really nice. Sort of, it's a mindless, um, relaxing, enjoyable knit, and I'm loving the fabric. Oh, and it's my first time doing a rolled collar, which I think is just so pretty and effective. <coughs> I really like it. I've not tried it on yet, but high hopes. High hopes. Uh, the next work in progress is <laughs> this one, which is a rather, well, kind of a spontaneous cast on. Um, as I mentioned, I have quite a few, I've got quite a bit of yarn from Woolly Knits. So I bought a big cone of the sage green at the same time a big cone of, this is oatmeal, which <laughs> to me it's not a very oaty colour. It's more grey. I'd call it like a medium grey excuse me oh, I've got a tickle yeah I call it like a medium grey um, and I wanted to lighten up a bit so I'm holding it with a strand of um, drops kid silk where is it that's all I've got left in the colour moonshine my first time working with a mohair no, it's not. It's my first time working with um, drops. 
no hair. Try not to cough. Excuse me. Anyway, the pattern is called Petal Tail. <clears throat> I can't remember the name of the designer. I cast this on the other day and it's a circular yoke again. Um, I love the fabric. The fabric is gorgeous. It's light, it's airy, dreamy, very floofy. I'm not sure how I'm going to get on with the mohair because I've not tried it before, but there's only one way to find out. Um, it's a lace yoke. Now you can't see the lace very much um, because I think, I think when it's blocked you probably will, but it's beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely simple lace yoke. Um, I'm worried it's going to be very big. The neckline's wider than normal, but actually I think, I don't think it's going to be too bad. It might be actually nice for me to have a wide, a bit of a wider neckline. I don't really have many jumpers like that. So yeah, um, that's as far as I've got. It's taking its time. It's not four mil needles, but I do like the look of smaller circum um, circumference knitting. No, smaller gauge. Um, yeah. And it's, yeah, the fabric's beautiful, it's so light. I think this would be quite dressy when I'm finished, like quite a, a jumper that you could wear out, um, like for dinner or something. So yeah, that is Petal, the Petal Tail, or Petal Tail. It's not got many projects on Ravelry, which I was quite surprised about, because I think it's a really, really pretty jumper. I'd highly recommend going and having a look at it. But yeah, it'd be nice to update how this is going. Yeah, so I'm excited about that one as well. Uh, and that's it. That is it. That is, I'm just trying to think, I'm pretty sure that's it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, um, I don't really know how to leave this video. I have got other plans for other projects. Um, I bought the yarn actually for knitting um, Badger and Bloom jumper, which I think is stunning. But after reading a few comments on the project page and just knitting up a gauge swatch, I don't know if you can see it on the board behind me, <laughs> I'll show you. still recording yeah we are after knitting the ghost watch it just seemed too loose and like you can see it's very it's on six mil needles i could go down a needle size but it's a lot it's drops air i forgot to say the yarn is drops air it's a lot lighter and thinner than i was expecting i thought it was going to have more i don't know weight to it so I think if I was to knit it, I would use a different yarn. I don't think I'd use this because I've also seen how much drops air will kill, which puts me off. So I could just knit it anyway, but it just seems, I don't know if that seems silly, or I could use the yarn for something else. I was thinking maybe just using the cream for like a very simple jumper, but I've got a lot. I feel like I'm getting quite a lot of, I don't know. Maybe it would be nice to have something like this, but I feel like I don't want to spend all this time doing it if I know it's just going to pill and look sorry for itself. I feel like if I did knit it, I'd want it to be knit in, sorry, knit in something a bit um, more, more, with more, more weight and more stability. So yeah, I'm not sure. I have yarn for that, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, it's been nice for me to kind of offload and <clears throat> get some stuff I'm making out into the world. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and I don't know how often I'll do these. I'm thinking maybe monthly. I feel like that's quite nice, like it will give me time to really get some work on the things I've shown you. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll do some other videos in between that. Who knows? Who knows what the future will bring? Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that I found knitting and that I have it as a hobby slash, slash obsession. Um, yeah, my bank account's not so happy, but it's fine. 
<laughs> yeah I hope that um, you've enjoyed this video and I've not been too irritating with my coughing and sniffing and yeah I hope to see you again soon and for now bye